Hi, I'm Debbie, and this is The Doula Show. And today we're gonna to be talking about positioning. And I am just a visual learner, so I cannot even think about telling you anything about positioning without showing you some models. So here's our fabulous baby. And I want you to remember this baby is brilliant. This baby wants to get in the correct position. So you're gonna be training your body with some of the exercises I'm gonna teach you so that your uterine muscles tuck baby and tuck baby. This is gonna happen even before you go into labor where these muscles are gonna practice with baby. Tuck that chin, tuck that chin, tuck that chin. Because we want baby to get into your pelvis tiny. You can see that the diameter of this baby coming into the pelvis is much more beautiful than this. So basically, when you're starting your labor, you're gonna be the one to teach baby mama's boss here. So we're gonna let mama do the work with your body to go ahead and tuck baby and get baby in small. The positions that we want to do when we first start laboring are things that are gonna balance your body. You're gonna do things like a forward leaning inversion that I'm gonna teach you in a little while, and also side lying release and some rebozo work. Those are gonna be working these really long uterine muscles to do the things that they need to do to get your baby into your pelvis. Now, once your baby's in your pelvis, this is about zero station. When you get to your birth center or the hospital, they will talk about things like station, effacement, dilation. So when a baby is in what we would call minus, that's the baby still floating above the pelvis. Once baby is engaged in the pelvis, about half of the ear and this much of the head is in the pelvis. Then we would do positions that are gonna help baby just get a little space in that right hip, straighten up, now a little space in the left hip, straighten up and keep working like a corkscrew down deeper into the pelvis. Then baby applies a lot of pressure right here. My model has a tailbone, but it keeps falling off. So the tailbone, the baby pushes out of the way. Baby also uses all that strength and power to push that sacrum out of the way and then to go ahead and get underneath those bones. So you have to get baby in the correct position. Now, if he starts or she starts thinking that she's the boss, then they do this sort of thing. And then you have a baby that's in trouble later on because they're banging against bones. Or you could have a baby that's coming in that's not symmetrical and he or she's gonna pop that head up on that ledge and then those bony plates in this baby's skull that start to conform to your body can conform to that corner and then that baby's gonna be stuck. So that baby's gonna get into distress. How can you avoid these things? Well, you have muscles, these long muscles, and I like to use these to just show you what they look like. When you work a muscle that's on the outer part of the pelvis, let's say that you're practicing some yoga stretches and you're using this muscle. This is all preliminary things that you're gonna be doing, preparing for game day. But when that muscle on the outer part is stretching, the muscle inside is relaxing. So just think of them as friends. And when one friend is working really hard, stretching across this particular bone, you have pelvic floor muscles that are attached anterior, posterior, and at the hips. So if you have this muscle stretching nicely across the hip, this guy's hanging at the pub, just relaxing. So you have one that's working, and one that's chilling. So you wanna be teaching through your pregnancy how to allow these muscles to just yawn so that then when this baby is trying to get through, they're all chilling at the pub. They're all just drinking their Guinness and they don't care because baby's not gonna be then doing tug of war with muscles. Baby's just gonna come on through. You're gonna keep working your body so that that baby can go ahead and move through your pelvis. So there's a lot of different positionings that you can be doing. We wanna think about how baby's gonna get into the pelvis, rotate through the pelvis, and then come out. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of different videos talking about those positions and how not only are you going to be using those positions 
during labor, but you've already conditioned these muscles. So they have muscle memory. So then you're like the beautiful gymnast who's gonna go ahead and do your routine where these muscles are ready for what baby's doing. So you'll know, okay, this is the time when I have to do things that are asymmetrical. Okay, now this is the time where I have to do things where the outlet is opening. So you're teaching muscles to open the inlet, to work baby through the pelvis, and then to open the outlet. And all of those muscles, again, because this is like an athletic event, they will know what they're supposed to do. You've never done this before, possibly, but your muscles will know because you practice certain things of how to allow this baby through your pelvis with ease. So check out my other videos on these positions, which would be balancing, opening the inlet, mid pelvis, and opening the outlet.